We are considered like the pigs. They are scared of us. This is Michael Slackman for the New York Times. Siman Tawfiq Khali makes his home and his living in the squalid corner of Cairo. He's a member of a group called the Zebelines, about 400,000 Christians who gather Cairo's waste each day. They separate out the food waste and feed it to their pigs. I go at 6 in the morning and collect the garbage bags from the buildings and homes. This is our job and means of living. If we had another job, we would get rid of this one. And in a controversial move, the government said it was culling the country's entire pig population in reaction to the global swine flu epidemic. This despite the fact that not a single pig has tested positive and there has not been one case of swine flu in Egypt. As Christians in a country dominated by a Muslim majority, the Zabalin live on its fringes. Now they worry that the government is going to take away their way of life. Muslims are forbidden from eating pork. Butchers like Metwali Al-Fashi are also impacted. We will get lost. We will beg. We will be homeless. We have children who are educated. How can we educate them now? Where do we get the money for the schools now? Facing criticism, the government later claimed the measures were a plan to help the Zabalin move into more sanitary conditions. But the Zabalin contend it's just an excuse to get pork out of Egypt and to ultimately take their land away from them. Our area is in the heart of Cairo. As you go up, as I showed you, you can see the pyramids, the tower. You can see all of Cairo, the citadel, Al-Azhar. They want to do like a tourist resort. All of Cairo will suffer nonetheless. There is no significant public garbage disposal system. No one knows what will happen with the many thousands of tons of organic waste the pigs consume here every day. The country will smell awful. All these streets here will be full of garbage bags. The Zebelins do not object to an improved standard of living. They just don't want their current livelihood wrenched away. Where will I work now? We will starve. We will die from starvation. There is no job. There is nothing except this job. What will we do? 